Today, Uganda joined the rest of the world to commemorate the self-care day, and this was celebrated in Kayunga district. The day started with aerobics that saw all members present take part. <laughs> Self-care encompasses the practices that individuals or communities adopt to manage their health independently of the formal health care system. This event was intended to raise awareness, to create awareness, to enlighten young people, to enlighten their parents about the changes that are happening and how individuals need to take care of their bodies. An example, when you are growing up with a boy or girl and you are in puberty, your body begins to smell, gets a certain odor because of the body changes, the biological changes that are happening in your body. You need to bathe often, you need to take care of your body, you need to make sure that uh, you, you are aware about it. So self-care is about self-awareness and taking care of your own body. With awareness, you have to give to everyone. Look at the population that is here. I can say over 90% of Kayunga has been aware about self-care because we've been having the film van since Monday. The film, film van has been moving from village to village. Several district leaders emphasized the significance of self-care and urged Ugandans to adopt it as it would help conserve resources that would otherwise be spent on hospital visits. The journal of self-care has been with us and the ministry has done the following. We are structuring the self-care and introducing within the existing health systems. And as has been mentioned, Kayonga district is the second area where we are celebrating. We're in Dokolo. Self-care is not only about aerobic, the teachers who are here, cultural leaders, the religious leaders, everyone, a mother, a father. Self-care is for us all. We have to participate in sensitization. So, not celebrating a self-care day, atala ba inoktusa obwerezo we riba na kayunga, we riba na Uganda. Those are never staying up. Nsanja Patrick, member of Parliament in Tejeru South in Kayunga district noted that government is not able to fund everything which is why they are calling upon people to manage their health. He also pledged continuous cooperation with the Ministry of Health. You as an individual, kubanga challenge zika tinyinji, sente zika endede, wavu unji, government terina chimala, kutua, kutusa wazesa kututu usake vivyo nabiyo musuvida, tuba sava mwerewe simbu. Where you need us, for instance you might be having a project, Something you, you need to put right, say a law that has loopholes or gaps. We are available to make a fall up. This country is faced with the, a big challenge of corruption. Everywhere they talk is corruption. The State Minister for Primary Health Care, Honorable Margaret Muhanga, who was the chief guest, gave the children in attendance tips of self care and urged them to take the message seriously. You need to listen to those doctors, you need to listen to nutritionists so that we can live better lives. In the villages here, I know there are some people who have good matoke, sweet potatoes, cassava. They sell it and go to town to eat chips and chicken. Children say no to chips and chicken. I want to see you as engineers, nurses, doctors, members of parliament, even the president may come from Kayunga and from you small kids here. So push yourselves forward. Never push yourselves backward. Girls do not get pregnant. Where you see a boy, run. Where you see a man, run. And do not fear to tell your parents. The minister questioned the district health leaders on why services are not improving in the district health centers, yet the government has come up with interventions like salary enhancement. You know that salaries of these people were enhanced, including the nurses. But every day we are getting information from the Director General Health Services 
that you have not improved at all. Actually, the work in our hospitals is worse than before we, we, we raised your pay. Please check on these health workers. I've been told that in Kayunga you have health centers with doctors, but the doctors barely go there.